Quite gone 2018. Yet again, the echo in this elevator is still epic. Quick kind of almost got rained out this year, but who cares? Everything still works out and we're still having fun. I'm really excited about the fan art contest. My wife entered in a sculpture. We got was one of the uh, 12 finalists and it's an amazing sculpture. They're supposed to announce the winners tonight. We'll see what happens. That's new. I hadn't had done that before at the uh, previous QuakeCons. I uh, haven't really got to play as many games this year as I wanted to. There's too much to do. Too much to do at QuakeCons. Definitely, hands down, the biggest one I've been to so far. This was the first time I got to see Master Pancake, and I was extremely excited to see Mary Jo Peel up on stage, because I know her from Mystery Science Theater 3000, which is what Master Pancake is modeled after. Master Pancake was good. We watched Mortal Kombat. Uh, I'd never seen it before, so super funny. I had my first crash. I actually got like really excited when I got here, and I was like running with my dolly, and I had like a vertical mount, and both my monitors fell and got debezzled. And um, it was pretty shitty, but they both work. We just like snapped them back together. And it's all good. Uh, my name is Emily. This is my first QuakeCon, so I just popped my QuakeCon cherry. It's, it was pretty exciting and kind of a sensory overload. There are a ton of people here. It's the biggest LAN party I've ever seen. It's the biggest LAN I've been to. I've been to DreamHack Austin, and it was massive, what I thought. And, and this is even bigger. This is my first time at QuakeCon. Uh, don't skip out on the lines, don't skip out on anything because it is all worth it. Highlight so far has been uh, the Doom panel where we got to see the new footage for the Doom game. And let me tell you guys, it was an absolute religious experience. Best thing about this conference is that the game that is built around Quake is truly immortal and the fact that the community will rally behind it forever and we will be old and decrepit in our wheelchairs playing this game here or wherever. I just look forward to coming back every year. It's been a couple since I've been, but it's still the same, and it still feels like home. I mean, QuakeCon, legitimately, if you're a gamer, it's where you need to be. I go to a lot of conventions, and this one kind of just, everything about it, the reveals, the gameplays, the community itself. Um, people are really good about self-policing their body odor, which is fantastic, and if they're not, they will get deodorant thrown at them by Corsair. But yeah, definitely a whole lot of fun. Really love QuakeCon, and uh, I'll probably keep coming back until I'm old. So the first year I ever came to QuakeCon was 2012. I was uh, pretty in awe by all the cool computers that I was seeing. Um, at the time I had just built probably my, one of my first PC gaming computers. And there was a lot of tricked out computers in there that inspired me to get into modding. So that was, that was really cool. I, I go to a lot of lands like yearly. I do it for work and stuff. And Quake is always my favorite. Like it's just where I go for fun to hang out with friends. Been overwhelmed and overjoyed to meet all my friends again to come back and play games with them. What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of Attack. If you haven't heard of me, then I'd believe it. Yeah, I don't know if it was my hand. Still. Yeah.